Hey guys, would you like to learn how to make an ellipse rotate like this in Desmos? Step one, we have the equation of an ellipse. It's x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals one. h moves it left and right, k moves it up and down. a is the radius in the x direction, and so when you shrink a, it shrinks the radius in the x direction or it grows, and then b is the radius in the y direction, so you can make it larger in the y direction or down. If you make both a and b equal to six, then it is a perfect circle. So this is the standard equation of ellipse. In order to rotate this, we're Going to use a rotation matrix. This matrix gets multiplied by some xy and it gives you the rotated xy. But first, we need to express this ellipse in terms of x and y. A good way to do this is with the parametric equations of an ellipse. x is equal to h plus a cosine t, y is equal to k plus b sine t. For the correct domain of t, this parametric expression of an ellipse will give you the same thing as this equation of an ellipse. Here it is in Desmos if you want to see it. Notice this is a plotted point that's xy. The x is equal to h plus a cosine t and the y is equal to k plus b sine t. If I turn this on, you'll see that it's right on top of that. And we can even make this one wider. So now I've made the red one wider and you can see the purple one is just inside of the red one. So as I change these values, it moves along with it. So these are the same thing. The advantage of the parametric version is that we can easily apply the rotation matrix. We'll copy it down. In the place of the x, I'm going to plug in h plus a cosine t. In the place of the y, I'm going to plug in k plus b sine t. Now we're going to do this matrix multiplication. You take this times this, and it goes right here. And then you add to it this times this, and that's going to go right here. And that is our x prime value, all of this stuff right here. Then to get the y prime, we're going to do this times this to go here. And then we're going to add to that this times this, which goes here. And here is our x prime, y prime. I went over this matrix multiplication pretty quickly. I do have other videos on my YouTube channel going through it much slower. Feel free to check those out. My channel could definitely use some love. Now we're going to take this and plug it into Desmos. So here it is plugged into Desmos. This is the X that we had and this is the Y that we had. I wasn't able to plug in theta for the angle because theta is supposed to be an independent variable, not a constant. So I just went with Q. So Q represents my theta. So notice I have the Q everywhere the theta was before. If I turn this on, it ends up being right on top of it because everything else is the same with the H, the K, the A, and the B. But the only thing difference is this Q. So when I hit play, and change my angle, it's going to rotate the ellipse. You ready for this? And there it goes. As the theta changes, it rotates the ellipse around. So this is how to make a rotating ellipse in Desmos. How exciting.